Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and welcome to the Extras channel because I wanted to show you how to get uh, Google Play apps running on your Chrome OS device. And this is going to be one of those things where your mileage may vary because uh, not all Chromebooks can do this and some may not be able to do it now, but they might be able to do it in the future. So if you follow these steps, uh, there's a good chance if your Chromebook supports Google Play apps, you will see it now. Otherwise, you might have to wait a little bit or you might never get it. I'll put a link down below to a blog post that uh, Google has been updating as to which Chromebooks are going to get the Google Play Store and when. I am finding, though, that some are getting it early even before they're announced on that blog post. So again, if you want to give it a shot and try it, uh, it's worth taking a look at it. So what I'm going to do here is just pop into my uh, Chromebook flip screen that we've got up here, and I'm going to go over to the uh, lower right-hand corner of the screen and go to the Settings section here. And what you want to do is go over to About Chrome OS, and you're going to see in a, a spot here uh, below the check for and apply updates a link for more info. And if you click on that, it's going to give you a channel option. So currently, uh, this Chromebook is on the stable channel. And what I'm going to do is move it to the beta channel. Now, some Chromebooks might require you to go to the developer uh, channel, but I would try the beta one first to see if uh, the Google Play Store is available on your particular Chromebook there. So I'm going to uh, click the button there to get it going. What's going to happen is your Chromebook is going to download uh, a new installation of the Chrome OS uh, operating system onto your laptop. That'll take a few minutes. And then uh, when it's done, it's going to do something called Power Wash, uh, which means that you're going to be wiping out your Chromebook and starting over again. So if you have things uh, stored locally on the file system here, those will likely get erased. So you want to make sure all of the stuff that uh, you know is local only to your Chromebook is backed up first. Uh, and then you can run this and reset the Chromebook because you basically have to log back in with your Google account uh, like you're starting from scratch here. So I'm going to let this thing uh, finish downloading. And when it's done installing, I will show you what the Google Play Store looks like on Chrome OS. All right, so the process is done. We are now on the beta channel for our Chromebook. It doesn't look all that much different than it did before, except uh, when we go down to the lower portion of the screen here, you can see now we have the Google Play Store. And it's going to uh, have us go through the usual machinations here to agree whatever terms of service are out there. Uh, and then once that is done, uh, we can go in and start adding apps to our Chrome device. Now remember that this is a very beta kind of thing at the time that I'm shooting this. So uh, not all apps are going to be working on your Chromebook uh, out of the box. Some might work perfectly. Others might require some coaxing. Some may not work at all. So just uh, be patient with this process. There's a reason why Google is leaving it in beta uh, for as long as they have been leaving it in beta for. But uh, here you go. We can see we are uh, now on the Google Play Store and I want to start uh, installing some apps. Now what's interesting about how this works is that it will remember the profile you have on other Chromebook devices. So I have a few Google Play apps that I had installed on a different Chromebook, and those right now are installing automatically onto this one, which is uh, very helpful. But I can go in and, of course, uh, look for other games here and uh, click Install and have those go in uh, to my Chromebook and uh, work like they would on Android. So uh, good stuff. And if you have a few uh, Android apps that you use quite a bit on your phone, uh, you can just put them onto your Chromebook here and get to get to town with them. So uh, we're going to let these things install. Uh, if you want to see how some of this stuff runs, uh, definitely check out my full review of the Asus Chromebook Flip that I've got right here so you can get a good feel as to whether or not uh, these might meet your needs uh, running your Android apps on your Chromebook. This is Lon Seibin and thanks for tuning in to the Extra Channel. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.